I got a call from Miss Jackson, your counselor. She's concerned about your being disruptive in class. She said it's not without help from Larry. Oh, Larry's just funny. And I'm not really disruptive. That's a matter of opinion. What's wrong, honey? You want to tell me what's going on? I think about things like, why do I have to take French? And why don't we have $10 million? And I don't like the way I look. And what if I got pregnant? What does and that mean? Nothing. You're worried, aren't you? <sighs> Amy, the parent of any teenage girl worries about a lot of things. Sex being one of them. You don't think I'm weird because I think about it so much? At your age? <laughs> no. What you don't know is that Larry puts pressure on me. If I don't give in, I'm afraid he won't like me anymore. Well, why don't you tell him that anything worth having is worth waiting for? And in the meantime? <laughs> you suffer a little bit, like every adolescent. Everything's going to turn out fine. Like when you waited for Daddy to come along? Yeah. I really did wait. I feel like a ping pong ball is being batted between Ben and Amy. My mother calls Ben, get this, my gentleman caller. And what Amy calls him, I'd rather not repeat. Poor Ben just keeps pressuring me to commit. Isn't that what you want? I don't know. Ben's so caught up with himself. I'd, uh, I'd like to come first. Do you love him? Oh, I'm too confused to tell. He loves me. Now, that I know. And Amy would like him to drop off the face of the earth, right? <laughs> yes. I'm not going to let either one of them push me around, though. Good for you. <laughs> Sounds strong, huh? I thought of moving away from San Antonio to get away from the, the memories I feel I'm trapped in here. Where would you go? Oh, I don't know. Anywhere. Just away from here. <laughs> Look, for the last month, I have babbled endlessly about myself. Tell me about you. Well, I'd like to, but I'm not sure you'd understand. Life has made me wary of confidences. Try me. <laughs> well, I lived for seven years with another woman, intimately. I loved her very much. She loved me a little less, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I told you because I don't want to have any secrets from you. I value your friendship. And I value yours. This is gonna, gonna take a minute to sink in, okay? <gasps> How could I not have known? Um, you, you just, you don't look like what I would expect a, a gay woman to look. <laughs> we don't all wear black leather and ride Harley Davidson. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a relatively happy woman. I live as I please. Actually, that's not completely so. I, um... Uh, at work. I'm oh, restricted. Uh, mm. Sorry. Go, come on, then. I'm very ambitious. I'd like to move up in the company, but our Mr. Todson is an old-fashioned man. If he knew, he'd have me beheaded retroactively. <laughs> well, other than that, and pollution, and insane people planning ways of blowing up the world, and other minor inconveniences, living is good sunk in yet I don't know I I, I, I need a little bit more time <laughs> I, I don't know that much about homosexuality whether it's a, a conscious choice or whether it just happens oh I don't know either but does anybody really know why people are heterosexual I've known I was gay since I was 14 Maybe before that, because when I finally knew that I knew, I wasn't even surprised. 
Well, I'm just uh, an ordinary garden variety heterosexual. <laughs> sort of unspectacular. <laughs> you look quite spectacular to me. Thank you. I didn't mean to make you nervous. If I thought you'd consider me, I'd try and be your lady caller. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, you could tell me to go jump in the river. That would be the end of that. Well, I, I don't want you in the river. <laughs> I'm just not sure I want you in bed with me, either. Oh. I didn't mean to upset you, Gail, but I didn't want to lie to you, and I don't want my feelings for you to wreck our friendship. It's, it seems so strange coming from a woman, yet it, 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 it seems so natural. How can those two feelings exist at the same time? That's easy. Look at me. Look, I, uh, I don't think I'm much good at juggling any emotional information right now. I'm, I'm on overload. Um, if you don't mind, I'm, uh, I'm going home. Mom definitely goes along with the idea. Yeah, I know, Larry, but, you know, moving in with me is gonna change your daily routine. You know, it's not like living with your mother. Well, that's the point, Dad. I mean, I'm 16. Look, you and I will get to see more of each other, and I can help take care of the place. You know that I love that, Larry, but, you know, with your mother, I mean, look, the fridge is always full. She's there when you come home from school. The laundry is taken so care of. You what? Know. Look, I'd rather be with you. I'll make sure the fridge is full, okay? Don't worry. And, and I'll make sure the apartment's neat and clean. <laughs> you don't have to get compulsive now. That's what Mom says you are. Oh? She says it's what makes you a good doctor and a not-so-good husband. Really, huh? Yeah. She also says I'm a lot like you. Well, she's right about that. Listen, you just try to hang in there for a while with me, huh? See, I've got an idea. And I think you'll be living with me before long. Oh. Don't say anything to Amy about this yet, huh? Okay, son. seen much of you this week. Well, it's been crazy down here. Oh, I know that's because it's near to quarterly report time. It reminds me of college during midterms. No one left the dorm. Gail, I'm sorry I upset you last week. You didn't upset me. You gave me a lot to think about. What do you mean? That I haven't looked beyond the nose on my face. I really thought that Gay women were imitation men. I mean, without even thinking about it, I suppose I bought every negative stereotype there is. Oh, well, I think that gay women are this country's largest invisible minority. I don't know why, exactly, but it's so much easier for women to hide than it is for men. Some of my best friends are gay men. Well, perhaps I could be a best friend, too. Um, I have to pick up Amy. Oh, let me help you with some of these things. Oh, thanks. I do hope you have a good weekend. I'm going to organize my closets and Ooh. paint my fingernails. That's good. One of those renew yourself weekends for mm. me. Can we grab the lamp and the shade? Yeah.
girls. Fine. Hey. Oh, what a lovely surprise. We need to leave some of these odds and ends in your basement. New apartment is fine, but the closet space is nothing like in the old house. And neither is my bedroom. Not to worry. There's plenty of room. We need it. There's more to come. Goody. I'll hold them for ransom. I just love this picture of Daddy and me. Do we have one like it? No, your grandma liked that one so much, your dad and I gave it to her. If you really want it, Amy, you can have it. No, that's okay, Grandma, as long as I can come over any time I like and look at it. Any time you say. Now, I'll just put this away and make room for the other things you want stored. Thanks, Mom. That is a nice picture, isn't it? Mom, ever since Daddy died, I've been really scared. Of what? If he could die, we... I mean, anybody could, couldn't they? You mean, suppose I die? I'm not gonna die. But what if you did? <gasps> well, you have a lot of relatives that would fight for the chance to bring you up. But they're not gonna get it, see, because you're mine, and I'm gonna be around for a long time. You're gonna have to stick me in an old folks' home to get rid of me. <laughs>